Nikon is set to unveil its latest powerhouse camera, the Z90, successor to the beloved D500. This APS-C sensor camera offers a 1.5x zoom advantage over full-frame models, positioning it as a direct competitor to Canon's R7. With a rumored 33-megapixel sensor and advanced features, the Z90 is poised to fill a crucial gap in Nikon's lineup and excite photography enthusiasts worldwide. The Nikon Z90 is shaping up to be a game-changer in the world of photography and videography. For video enthusiasts, the Z90 promises to deliver exceptional performance. It's expected to offer 4K video recording at up to 60 frames per second, allowing for smooth slow-motion footage. For even more dramatic slow-motion effects, the camera is rumored to shoot full HD at 120 frames per second, with potential for a 180 frames per second option. These features position the Z90 ahead of many competitors in its class. One of the standout features of the Z90 is its built-in stabilization system. Compensating for up to six stops of movement, this technology ensures steady, professional quality footage even in dynamic conditions. This feature is crucial for both video and still photography, providing clear, sharp images regardless of shooting conditions. The in-body image stabilization IBIS, reduces blur from camera shake, allowing for breathtaking videos and sharp photos even when using slower shutter speeds. Focusing capabilities are critical, especially for sports and wildlife photography. The Nikon Z90 is expected to feature an advanced autofocus system that recognizes and tracks various subjects, including people, animals, and vehicles. Designed to outperform current models like the Z72 and Z50, this system aims to cater to semi-professional action photographers who demand quick and accurate focus. Speed is of the essence in action photography, and the Z90 doesn't disappoint. It's rumored to have a high-speed burst mode potentially capturing over 15 frames per second electronically. This feature puts it in fierce competition with Canon's R7 and R8, both capable of shooting up to 30 frames per second. The rapid burst mode is ideal for capturing fast action shots with precision, ensuring you never miss a crucial moment. A high-quality viewfinder is essential for any serious camera, and the Z90 is expected to deliver. Rumors suggest it will feature a 3.69 million pixel resolution electronic viewfinder with a 120 frames per second refresh rate, providing a lag-free experience. Additionally, it's said to include a 3.2-inch tiltable touchscreen at the back, allowing for flexible shooting angles. The no-blackout viewfinder ensures continuous visibility during fast action shots, crucial feature for sports and wildlife photographers. The Nikon Z90 uses the Nikon Z mount, offering compatibility with 35 native lenses at the time of writing. While this number is fewer than the 187 lenses available for Sony's E-mount, Nikon has a trick up its sleeve. The FTZ2 adapter significantly expands the lens options by allowing the use of over 360 F-mount lenses. This versatility ensures photographers have the right lens for any situation whether they are shooting portraits, wildlife, or landscapes. Native Z lenses are the way to go for top-notch quality, and the lineup is growing every year, becoming more affordable and lighter. Some standout options include the Nikon Z 50mm f1.8 for portraits, the Z 100-400mm for wildlife, and the Z 14-24mm for landscapes. The Nikon Z 90 will face stiff competition from several other cameras in its class, its main rivals include the Canon EOS R7, launched in 2022, which mirrors the Z90 with a 33-megapixel sensor and is aimed at action photography. The Sony A6700, featuring a 26-megapixel sensor and 4K 120p video capabilities, stands as a strong contender in the APS-C mirrorless market. The Fujifilm X-S20, a brand new model boasting a 26-megapixel sensor and 6K video recording, offers a unique alternative in the same category. Each of these cameras has its own strengths, making the Z90's competitive edge crucial in this hotly contested market segment. While the exact release date for the Nikon Z90 remains a mystery, it's almost certain to hit the market in 2024. Given its wide appeal and the current competitive landscape, Nikon is unlikely to delay its release beyond this year. Some rumors suggest we might see the Z90 before August, but as with all such speculation, nothing is set in stone yet.
As for pricing, while exact details are still under wraps, we can make some educated guesses based on its positioning in the market. The Z90 is set to be the successor to the D500 and a rival to the Canon EOS R7 and Fujifilm X-S20. This suggests a price range between $1,500 and $2,000, making it an attractive option for serious enthusiasts and semi-professionals alike. The Nikon Z90 is clearly aimed at a specific segment of the photography market. Its features and capabilities make it ideal for action and sports photographers who need fast burst rates and reliable autofocus, wildlife photographers who will appreciate the crop sensor's extra reach and the advanced subject recognition autofocus, videographers looking for high-quality 4K output with excellent stabilization, enthusiasts and semi-professionals seeking a robust, feature-rich camera without stepping up to full-frame prices, and existing Nikon DSLR users looking to transition to mirrorless while maintaining compatibility with their F-mount lenses. The Z90's combination of speed, resolution, and advanced features positions it as a versatile tool capable of handling a wide range of photographic challenges. Its APS-C sensor provides the benefit of extra reach for telephoto work, making it particularly appealing for wildlife and sports photography where getting close to the subject isn't always possible. The introduction of the Nikon Z90 could have significant implications for the camera market. It represents Nikon's serious push into the high-end APS-C mirrorless segment, an area where they've been somewhat lacking compared to competitors like Sony and Fujifilm. If the Z90 lives up to expectations, it could help Nikon regain ground in this important market segment. Moreover, the Z90 could serve as a gateway for DSLR users, particularly those using the D500, to transition into Nikon's mirrorless ecosystem. The ability to use existing F-mount lenses via the FTZ adapter makes this transition more appealing and cost-effective for long-time Nikon users. The camera's video capabilities also position Nikon more competitively in the hybrid stills video market, an increasingly important segment as more photographers expand into video content creation. If the Z90 can deliver on its video promises, it could attract videographers who might have previously looked to other brands for their video needs. In conclusion, the Nikon Z90 represents an exciting development in the camera world. It promises to combine high-resolution stills, advanced video capabilities, and fast performance in a compact, APS-C format. While it faces stiff competition, its unique combination of features and Nikon's reputation for quality could make it a standout option in its class. As always in the fast-moving world of camera technology, the proof will be in the real-world performance once the camera is released. The Nikon Z90 promises to be a stellar addition to Nikon's lineup, poised to capture the hearts of photographers worldwide. With its advanced features, versatile capabilities, and competitive pricing, it's set to make a significant impact in the APS-C mirrorless market. As we await its official release, anticipation builds for what could be Nikon's next photography game-changer.